Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I apologize in advance, I'm chewing gum and I probably won't pay attention and I'll probably chomp on it. I'm sorry about that. But today we're gonna do this glowy skin basic mm, look. Simple, easy, film the whole thing in 20 minutes while talking. So really, you could probably do it in 10 to 15. So this is our look. If you wanna see how we got it, then just keep watching. Oh my gosh, I'm barefaced. I'm never barefaced on here. I always have mascara and lip liner on because I just am that girl. Uh, but today I wanted to go through skin prep as well. So I've been using this double serum from Clarins. They sent it to me. I don't, I don't know if I would buy it. Well, by now I probably would because I've tried it. I really like it. It's really hydrating. It's like glowy vibes. And then I've been using this sick, Secaze herbal gel for a while now. This doubles as a sleeping mask and I love using sleeping masks as moisturizers because it's just so hydrating. And this one gives a nice glow to the skin but it doesn't pill. A lot of sleeping masks are full of silicone. I'm sure this has some but it has less and I know it because I can apply makeup over it without it pilling. And I know exactly the look that I wanna do. I can't help it, I have to do the lip line. This is Lamel. Cost $4, I bought it off Flip. Mm, and I like the color. It's like a, you know, like a my lips but better sort of situation. We're gonna let the skincare sit. Start with the eyes. I'm gonna prime with the Hourglass Concealer. I got the Viral Hourglass Concealer. I'm reviewing this too on Flip. If you don't know what Flip is, I like this app. So they have some of the stuff that like Sephora has, um, but you can get 30% off of it, but you have to swipe your fingers off to get the 30% off. So they like make you interact with the other people on the app and the people posting video reviews. And then you can also get free stuff if you buy X amount. And then if you want more free stuff, you have to make a review on the free stuff. It's kind of like a funny, like a shoppable TikTok. So I'm gonna use this new Paris Reveries palette. This, I swear, is my favorite palette right now. And I'm gonna use that uh, golden -y shade in the middle over here. I'm just gonna use it with my finger. This is a very simple eye look. Lately, uh, on YouTube full format, it's just been simple because it's kind of the vibe that I'm in. I'm in a basic bitch vibe and I don't see that changing for a while. I don't know why. I'm going to put a tiny bit of that peach shade in the crease. That's all we're gonna do for shadow. Very simple. And we're gonna do a big eyeliner with this. The peach always murks up my shimmer, so I'm gonna have to put the shimmer on again. I should have done it second. Ooh, it's so pretty. I love this palette. Like. I love palettes that have a couple shades that are just really flattering and simple to use. Like there's so many looks that could come out of this palette. This is probably one of my favorite Viseart palettes that I've seen in a while for my hair and skin tones. Everybody's different, but this has definitely been a fave of mine. I always shop their 50% off sales too, so don't feel any pressure, they have sales. If you follow them on Instagram, that's how I find out. And we're gonna do a cat eye with this Anastasia liquid liner. With a liquid liner like this, it's more difficult to use, but you can get a more lifted cat eye with this because a pencil or a brush or a pen, they would like to skip if you're going up against a little bit of texture on the eye. Whereas something like this, it doesn't skip because it's so wet. So I'm just gonna start by flicking it up. See what I mean? Like a pen liner would never go up my eye like that. Cause cat eyes are angled more up than out. Like a wing would be like extending this. A cat eye in my book is up. It's like 50s vibes. And I don't want it too thick on the lid. 
I'd rather it be slightly imperfect than me uh, making it thicker and thicker by trying to perfect it. That's the thing about these liners is that you kind of get what you get. You can't go back and forth too many times with these. But I'm telling you, no other eyeliner would go up my eye like that. And unless you're like a baby or like 20, it's hard to get those high cat eyes. Also, we're in like, there was a um, eclipse yesterday and Mercury's in retrograde. The strangest things have been happening. I've seen like every single ex I've ever had lately. One guy was parked. This guy I dated when I was like a child practically. He was parked next to me on my street. He had no idea that I lived here. I'm packing my car with my purse. I'm gonna use this and this. I'm still getting the hang of this new Ilia mascara. I'm just gonna show you and then keep talking. It has like a comb on one side and then like a more voluminous side on the other. I really liked it when I tried it today. I took it off so I could show you, but then this is my favorite primer and I only, ugh, I only get really good like all day lasting lifted results if I use this primer, I think. It might just be a superstition, but I love this primer. So anyway, back to the story. So I go to my car, which I'm parked down the street and I'm usually not parked down the street because I have a parking pass, but I had two people at my house that day. I'm packing my car and the guy goes, I remember you. And I look over and I'm like, oh, a ghost, literally a ghost from my ex-boyfriend's past. Um, I see this guy just literally parked right next to me. And he doesn't know that I lived on the street. It wasn't like a stalker thing. Apparently his ex-girlfriend lives on my street, uh, which checks out because every babe there ever was lives on the street that I live on. I don't know why, they just do. So I see that guy, then I, then I get a notification that um, Ryan from Hinge, who gave me my parking pass back, by the way, I got it back. He left it on my car and drove away like a coward. Um, so he pops up on my phone because he downloaded Snapchat. What an animal. And then yesterday, I'm, I'm minding my own beeswax, okay? I'm, sh I'm going through Instagram stories and I'm looking at another hairstylist that I know and love. I don't know her that well, but I, I love her. You know when you have these parasocial relationships and you've just fallen in love with people you don't know? Well, I love this girl. So I'm watching her story because I'm a fan. And then I see this guy in the background and I'm like, that looks like this guy that I dated a few, uh, a few months ago. I keep going and then I go back and I'm like, take a screenshot and I zoom in and I'm like, I swear that's his tattoo. Keep watching her story. And then I see him doing his little workout routine in the background of her workout routine. And I'm like, are you at X and XY gym? And she's like, yes. And I'm like, oh, great. So then I texted him because I don't have self-control. And I was like, is that you? And he was like, yes. And he was actually very nice to me, which I appreciated because guys out here act like animals. They'll just ignore you. I don't know. It's just different here. Big city vibes. Nobody cares about little old me, um, except for, you know, people who sh who should care. You know, my important people in my life. I have important people in my life. I need to stop being so dramatic. But um, I'm just being totally haunted by all these guys um, from my past. Oh, and I saw him went to lunch with my ex boyfriend. And then my ex-boyfriend, um, his dad, he didn't know, and I downloaded the Telegram app because I want to win a BBL from Dr. Miami. And then straight away, immediately, my ex-boyfriend's dad messages me. I'm like, sir, what are you doing on Telegram? He's like, you look like a movie star in your picture. He's so cute. Uh, that breakup was the hardest because we're losing... Um, such a nice boyfriend's dad. That man is so sweet and cute. So now we're gonna go to lunch apparently. All the three of us. Maybe I'll bring my sister to buffer it. But yeah, it's something with the stars and the planets. And also it's like, it's definitely not, I'm not seeing all these guys cause I should be with all these guys. I'm seeing all these guys because maybe I should let them all go. Maybe that's what it is. Uh, but ugh, the drama. 
Let's put on a skin tint. This I've been using a lot. I love it. It's the Super Goop. They sent me a lot of shades. I gave away about 10. Um, my perfect shade is 22 Warm. And you guys know me and my sunscreen. I should be wearing actually a regular one underneath this, but I'm inside pretty much all day today, so I'm not. And this does the trick. It's SPF 50 and it looks like a tinted moisturizer. You can make it full coverage with concealer, which is what we're going to do today. But I swear men can wear this. Like I gave this away to a couple guys because I was like, do you want it? Let's try it on. And it looks just like glowy skin on them. Also, let's go in with our hourglass. This is probably the fullest coverage um, concealer that I've tried. I don't know, maybe ever. Because did you see how one swipe just took away all my skin? Like, it doesn't even look like skin anymore. It looks like... You actually have to be careful because I put too much earlier. But it doesn't even look like skin. It looks like plastic. The trick to get more coverage out of this would be um, to let it dry down. But I don't want more coverage out of this. This is insane. And watch, you'll see how it spreads. I use way too much. I'm still getting the hang of how much to use. But like, tell me my whole face isn't covered in this now. It is. It's very extreme, if you ask me. But it has a place. And the place is on the full coverage girlies' faces. You know our mother, Nara Smith? She uses this. So funny because I call her our mother. She's so much younger than me. But she uses this and she has, um. why am I talking about her dark circles? She does, she has dark circles and this lightens them right up. Usually when I talk about people, I wanna seem like I'm talking bad about her, I'm not. Um, but yeah, she has dark circles and this like blasts them off. It's crazy, it really works. If you have like really dark circles or things you really want to cover, then I do recommend. We're going to do bronzer and contour. So I'm going to start with the Tower 28 Sunny Days Sculptino. They call this a contour. It's not. I'll show you a real contour. Here we go. This is a real contour. See? So the way you want to apply your bronzer is like on top of the bone. And it's honestly pretty similar for contour, but you can put bronzer in more places. So you can go around the forehead. If you put contour all around this, it would be kind of insane, like a true contour. It would just kind of be a, a grayish kind of mess. Um, but your bronzer, you can like spread out where the sun would hit, where you want to be sun-kissed, where you literally would be sun-kissed. And then with the contour, I like to put this on the back of my hand. I don't wanna just go in raw with this because it's too intense. I'm just gonna use my same brush and I'm gonna place this a little bit more strategically. So just right on that bone, not below it, on it. I see people contouring way too low without enough makeup on the skin to blend it and that's gonna look stripey on the bone not as far up as the bronzer the bronzer can kind of poof disperse everywhere the contour cannot and then if you want to you can do a little around the forehead if you have a big forehead if you have a small forehead leave it you don't need it contouring is for shaping and you want to keep that contour right where you placed it. You don't want it to travel too far up or down. You want to keep it there. And now it is, I mean, it is really chiseling. And I find that adding blush helps to blend a contour that's kind of hard like this by a lot. So we're going to use our Merit Fox Balm. It's all gross because it has my makeup on it. Oh, and can you believe we're not doing lashes today? I didn't even mention it, but we're not doing lashes today because I just can't. I CBF, can't be fucked. I CBF to do lashes today. And also, I always do lashes, so it's nice to have a little change. And yeah, now we're just 
blending, blending, blending. I love this blush. I don't know what color you would even call it. So gorge. Mm, glowy, I love. Now really all we have left to do is lips. So back in with the Lamel lip liner. The shade, I forgot to tell, is 410. And I don't think I shared this last week, but I might have because this has been blowing my freaking mind. This is a pale pink lip mask. Are you kidding me? No one has done this before. Or if they have, I don't know about it. So I like to just take a glob, probably too much. And just get it on there. I love the color of this. It reminds me sort of of Bism Friend. You guys know, discontinued MAC fave. And this is our look. I think we just need a little mascara on the bottom. A little more. And I'm not even gonna powder. Because why should I? I haven't been in the mood to powder lately at all. So yeah, this is our look. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. And I'll see you for the next one.